Hey folks, welcome to another video. My name is Chris, and uh, this video today is gonna be about uh, uh, navigating through that Bluetooth radio up there. And somebody had commented asking if I could do a video on it because they don't have an operator's manual. And also, the operator's manual that comes with the tractor does not have any kind of description or a section on the radio itself. So I'm just gonna uh, make a video based off my experience of using that thing and show y'all uh, how to nav navigate through it in case some of you need some help. And also, it does require a pin when you wanna connect to your Bluetooth. So, um, that five foot tiller, by the way, that bush hog works great. My wife wants to do um, a little vineyard um, here at our house, so we're gonna put it to use. But um, if you're following this channel for hay production videos, or fabrication or repair videos. Um, I do all those, obviously, but um, I've got a lot of stuff in the works. And um, just hang tight and thanks for subscribing. And if you're new here, be sure to, to hit that subscribe button. I'm, real, I'm enjoying making these videos and I like putting uh, information out there. So we'll get over here in the tractor and uh, get the camera on the uh, radio. Okay, so here's the radio that comes in the Workmaster. This radio is not like the one that comes in the uh, Power Star. The Power Star's got a square blocky radio, and I don't think it's uh, Bluetooth capable, but um, if you wanna navigate through this thing, I'll just jump straight to Bluetooth. Uh, your source button up here, if you wanna power it off, you have to hold it down, but you hit your source button, and that will navigate through your auxiliary, which is your USB, or if you have an SD card, uh, that's got music on it. You can insert it uh, You get your Bluetooth your radio auxiliary Bluetooth. So um, When you're on Bluetooth and you're showing a no connect you have to uh, pair your phone to it Obviously, so if you go into settings on your phone uh, Now I use an iPhone, so I don't I'm not sure about Androids But when you go into settings and you go into Bluetooth I have to turn my Bluetooth off and when I turn it back on my phone goes into pairing mode when it goes into pairing mode, this thing will uh, put a uh, description of Bluetooth radio on the iPhone. And when you see Bluetooth radio pop up and you click on it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to try to load for a little bit or try to connect and it'll ask for a pin number. The only pin number that I've gotten to work is 1234. 000 doesn't work, 1111 doesn't work, it's just 1234. So, um, when I put in one two three four, it will pair and connect. No problem. Let me show you what it looks like real quick once it's connected So once you see connect that means your phone is connected to it And when you start playing music through your phone, it's gonna pop up like a R2D ACT across the screen All right, so to go to your radio, you're gonna hit your source and there's radio um, If you want to um, if you want to save a station, you can navigate through your station and you just hold down your number and it'll save it to that uh, preset on whatever number you chose. And then um, to go through your different fre frequencies from AM, FM, you got your band button here. And then you also have a weather channel. WB is your weather radio. If you want to adjust your settings and adjust your clock and all that, you're going to go into your menu. Here's your audio. You hit down on this button and you can go into whatever menu you would select. So like your, let's say you want to change your equalizer, you hit it again to go into your equalizer and then you scroll with the knob to adjust which one you want. Um, and then to, to back out, you hit your uh, back button on your radio. And you got your loudness, your tone, your tone equalizer, which you can you can manually adjust. And also, if you want to quickly go into your equalizer, just hit down on this button, and you can adjust your balance, your fade, your bass, and treble, and all that. So, let me turn this down. When you're going through your menu, you have audio, your tuner, then you have your system. You can adjust your clock, your beep, your advanced, which your world is what country you're in, your timer, if you want a timer on this thing. 
uh, your reset for the whole radio settings. If you want to adjust your clock, you go into system, you click, you push down on it to go into clock. You go to adjust here, and that's how you adjust your clock, AM, FM. And if you want to go from 24 hour to 12 hour, you go into mode. AM, PM is your 12 hour. And then if you want to do 24 hour, like military time, then, then uh, you switch to 24 hour. And so uh, whichever one you want, you just push, you just push down and uh, it selects it. And then you back out of the menu. So your uh, in advanced settings, that's for your country. I think that's for the weather radio. You got a timer, you got reset. Your uh, volume, let's see, tuner your alternate volume. Uh, I think that's your radio volume. You can preset how loud you want it. Your Bluetooth, so when you go from radio to Bluetooth, you can make it the same loudness. And then this right here, you can select which speaker you wanna play out of, but obviously there's just two speakers on this radio. So that's just the, um, that's the basic general how-to to, to uh, use this radio. And I guess these buttons here are maybe for your, uh, your audio system or maybe when you're in Bluetooth, you can repeat a song or play, stop and play the song. But if you just play with it, you'll get the hang of it. But the biggest thing to know on this, uh, on that radio is your pin number. And like I said, one, two, three, four is the pin number I use to connect to it. So, well, I hope that helps some of y'all out there on uh, navigating through that radio. Uh, some of the stuff I didn't, I'm not sure what it is, so be sure to comment down below and let me know. And um, hopefully that'll help some of y'all uh, get moving in the right direction with that thing and understand it more. Uh, also, uh, in the beginning of the video, uh, note that part number down if you uh, need an operator's manual for this thing. So, I guess uh, until the next video, I got a lot of stuff in the works, so I'll have more coming. I'll see you next time.